I feel kind of guilty now for having these plants and like not caring about them for so long. It can go live in somebody else's home. I don't want it. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought I would talk about plants that I no longer want or I want to get rid of and why. If you've been here for a minute, you might know that one of my goals this year is to sort of have a one-in, one-out policy when it comes to my plants. And I know it's not like 100%, maybe a two-in, one-out policy or something like that. But I have gotten a whole bunch of new plants lately. If you've seen, I've had several hauls and I feel like it's time to get rid of some. There's definitely some that I feel like I don't need in my collection anymore or I'm not giving the best care to or that would just be better suited in somebody else's home. So I thought I would go through them with you today. If you're new here and you don't know me already, hi, my name is Emma and I make houseplanty content all over the internet. So if you want to follow along with my houseplanty journey and maybe learn something along the way, sorry that was Cleo hitting the camera, <laughs> stick around, watch more of my videos and subscribe to my channel. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. I hope you enjoy this little Cleo, no. Go away, these are my plants. <laughs> you can't have them. So I guess we can start with this one, seeing as I'm holding it to make sure that Cleo doesn't eat it. Um, this is a Cebu Blue Pothos Epipremnum Panatum Cebu Blue. And I'm not getting rid of this plant because I don't love it. I freaking love Cebu Blues. They are one of my all around favorite plants and I could have a billion of them. But at the same time, I don't think I need a billion of them I don't even need three or four of them, which is how many I have. I've kind of been amassing them as I've propped loads and loads and loads and just like made big bushy plants of them. And I mean this one, it's not as bushy as it looks. It's, I twisted the vines around so they wouldn't dangle in Cleo's sort of eye line. <laughs> but it is otherwise a very, very happy plant and I do really like it and I think someone can give it a really great home and just because I have so many I don't feel like I need this one and I'd rather focus my attention and energy on trying new things and experimenting with other plants and like having variety and growing some of my other plants of Cebu Blue bigger. I don't really feel like I need to have that many. so. The plant number one, Sabo Blue, gonna go to a good home, I'm sure eventually. Some of these I've agreed to swap or sell to others, some of them I haven't. I am going to be, like, I guess maybe bringing some of these to the plant swap. Might offer some to my patrons, I don't know. I don't know how exactly I'm gonna be getting rid of them, but I'm gonna try and do it in the next, like, couple weeks. So, if you're... <laughs> If you're really interested in any of them, let me know, shoot me a DM, and we can potentially arrange something. Specifically if you're UK based, if you're not in the UK, then I will not send you any plants because shipping outside of the country is just not worth it. And you can find most of these plants where you are in the world. So, next up, probably this one. So this is the biggest plant that I would like to get rid of. This is a ZZ plant, and I've not had this plant for very long. It was very kindly gifted to me over the sort of Christmassy period. Um, I was working with somebody on a, on a small Instagram thing, and I thought that I kind of had room for this in my collection, and it turns out I just don't have the room for this like quite large plant. It's just been sitting in my windowsill for the past few weeks or like in an inconvenient area on my sideboard. It's just not had a, I've not been able to find it a home because it is so big. And because I've got my ZZ Raven, which I absolutely freaking love. I mean, I'm not saying I don't love this one. No, I don't love it. I, I like it. I just don't love it. I feel a bit bad saying that because it is like a perfectly, perfectly fine plant. It's just, 
I don't see the appeal of it as much as the ZZ Raven with its like nice dark deep black dark green leaves. Whereas this one, I mean, it's just green, it's got some cool texture to it, but it's a little bit too big for my current space and I think it can give it can give somebody else a bit more joy than it gives me at the minute, which is a little bit sad because I did like in theory want this plant, but I just don't think I can be getting big plants at the minute. I say that I might buy a big plant sometime. It's one of those things where it's like if it's the right big plant, I'll get it or I'll have it. But if it's not the right big plant, like if I really wanted it, I would make room for it. And I just haven't. It's been in my home for like four months and still just sitting randomly wherever I have like space for it at the time. So not my favorite is what it is. Probably will sell it on Facebook Marketplace so it can be go somewhere local because I'm not shipping that. <laughs> way too big. Shipping would cost way too much. It's just not worth the like time and effort. So yeah. I'm just looking at my other plants back here figuring out which one I want to talk about next. Um I guess I'll talk about this one. So this is a Syngonium Neon Robusta. And I've just left my Syngonium phase. I am not feeling Syngoniums really like at all. There's a couple that I feel like I still really really love but for the most part I just I don't care and they tend to be like super duper pest prone for me with their like really thin leaves. I find that they get thrips and spider mites so easily and if I don't absolutely love 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 the way it looks I don't want to be adding that extra stress into my life and this specific Syngonium, I don't, I don't really care. It's got like these pinky green leaves, which part of me thinks is cool. Part of me is like, they just look kind of brown, which I don't want to yuck your yum. If any of these plants are plants that you really love, that's totally fine. That like everyone can have different tastes. But yeah, I just, I just don't see it as a plant that I really want to keep. I've had several of these in the past and all of them I've kind of just like let die. I don't know why I've had so many of these. I feel like I've had like three or four <laughs> and they've all been small and I haven't liked any of them. <laughs> so I don't know why I keep getting them. I think maybe I think the next time is going to be the time I like them. It's not apparently. So yeah, <laughs> my Syngonium Neon Robusta, not a fan. Another Syngonium that I have that I do not want is this one. So I have, I think, spoken about this one previously in some sort of video of plants I don't care about or I wouldn't care if I got rid of or I'm struggling with or something. Um, <laughs> and this is just like a plain green Syngonium. I think it was part of a variegated one at one point, but that one reverted and I separated the part that had like variegation in it and then put that in one pot and then all of the green in the other pot which I thought I would like but again it's just a Syngonium that I don't really care about. It's over my bed in my bedroom which is where I like to keep plants that I don't need to care too, too much about and I don't really with this one but at the same time it's sensitive and pest prone so I'd just rather keep something else there and I don't know I just I don't care that much about it. Like, I wouldn't care if it died, and so since that's the case, I'd rather give it or sell it or whatever to somebody who wants it and wants to care for it and actually appreciate it, appreciates it because I don't. Cleo's like, this is my favorite plant. No, it's not, baby. It's not your favorite plant. Do you want to sit on my lap? Is that it? <laughs> She's just having a little chill on my lap. Hello. Don't know where the camera was, but anyways, Syngoniums. I, I, there's several that I am still keeping, but the, I feel like these are the main two that I'm just like, I don't need this extra added stress in my house. So 
I will be getting rid of them when I can. Um, I think the Robusta I've already promised to somebody in a trade, and then the green one I haven't. Next up, I do feel kind of bad about this one. So this is a Philodendron Dark Lord. Ow! What's up with that? <laughs> Did y'all see that? <laughs> okay. Um, this is a Philodendron Dark Lord, and it is just the most like awkwardly shaped plant. I got it as a cutting of just this leaf, which is magnificent. And if it had continued to grow like this sort of size, I think I probably would have liked it more, but it just created this thing, this ugly thing. And whoa, whoa, not for you, boo. Um, what was I saying? This, I don't know, it's just grown so weird, it grew really leggy, and then I chopped it to give people cuttings and to swap away, and it's got a new growth point, and I just still think it's really, really awkward, and I feel really bad about this because this was given to me, like, for nothing at the plant swap, at the, I think at the one about a year ago, um, and I do really, really appreciate it because this leaf is fan freaking tastic but this I, I I just don't feel like it fits in with my collection it's not growing the way I would want it to and I think somebody else would just better appreciate it and it would look better in somebody else's home maybe someone who has the patience to like chop it up and try and grow it nicely because I I currently don't um, unfortunately so maybe this is one that I'll bring to the plant swap because I got it from there, I can give it there. But it's just sad because it would have been really cool and I really like that it's called Dark Lord because that's fun. Um, but it's just not for me apparently. This one, I'm kind of surprised about but at the same time I'm not. This is a Hoya Crimson Queen and I told myself I was gonna decide between this one and the Crimson Princess and I ended up choosing the Crimson Princess. That is one that I propagated from Tiny Cuttings. It was my first Hoya ever, and I kind of have a bit more of a special attachment to that one. This one, it's fine, but it just hasn't been growing as much as I would have wanted it to. Maybe it's because I've been neglecting it a little bit. It's definitely like super duper dusty, <laughs> which is my bad. But otherwise, it's, I think, a healthy plant. I mean, it, it looks pretty fine. It's just, I feel like I'm, I'm over it a little bit. I love, love, love my Hoyas. I pretty much love all of my other Hoyas, and I, would, I wouldn't want to get rid of any of my other ones. Like, I was looking through all of my plants for this video, and none of the other Hoyas even, like, sprang to mind when I was thinking of this. But this one, I'm just like, eh. So. I guess that means it can go live in somebody else's home. Uh, this one I can talk about next. So this is my variegated philodendron Sodoroi, which I got as an import. And I still don't know whether or not the variegation on these is a virus. I'll link the video down below um, about like the original controversy of the variegated Sodoroi and it being a virus but like that was a couple years ago now so I don't know if it's still a thing or not I have seen other like Indonesian plant sellers selling them so maybe they've figured it out and it's just actual variegation now but I've still just like not felt comfortable risking it and so I've just been keeping it a bit separate from the rest of my plants which is kind of a pain I don't feel like I can do that on a regular basis. I don't have room to just like separate my plants and like not let them touch and stuff like that. And I know that like the virus or whatever can't be spread through like plants physically touching, but if I got pests and a pest ate some of this and then ate some of another plant, it can get shared through that because it's like fluids or if something breaks and um, I just, I, I don't, I don't have the 
patients to like figure it out um and like there's just been as far as i know no more research on it and i have a friend who wants to take that risk so i'm actually going to be swapping this one away to her but it is rooted in there sorry it's quite bright um it's rooted in there and like otherwise i think it's pretty happy i've not been the best at keeping it healthy it's one that i haven't really cared if it would live or die because of the virus issue so i've just been kind of like it's there and i don't know i just i don't need to give myself the stress of plants like this i think most of that is most of these are just me not wanting to give myself the stress of caring for another plant that i don't love as much as i could and then i've got two more this one is the next this is a sansevieria or dracaena trifecta or something trifecta trifecta this was one that I'm pretty sure originated in Joe's old flat before we lived together. So it's, I mean, it's quite old. It's one of the plants that we've had collectively for the longest. But I have other snake plants, Sansevieria's, that I like more than this one. I like, I don't care for the yellow color. Yellow variegation in plants in general just isn't really for me. I've been neglecting it on top of my IKEA cabinet because I know it's totally fine with that and I've not been dusting it which I really should I should give it like a full on shower before I give it to anybody else because it definitely deserves that but it's just like why why have something that I don't feel like looks good with my other plants and doesn't really fit into my collection like I've only kept it so long because it was Joe's and because it is easy care. And one, Joe does not care. And two, if it's easy care, somebody else can easily care for it somewhere else. And it could be no care for me, <laughs> which is like a much better deal for me. So I just like, I'm over it. I, I don't need it. And I feel like another reason I've kept it is because it's been like, it's like a classic staple houseplant. I don't feel the need to hold on to staples anymore, I think. Like, I feel like I've I've graduated into a level 2 plant parent. I mean, there's no such thing as that, but like, I don't feel the need to like hold on to them just because they're like classic houseplants, which I think is, is good. I'm, I'm Marie Kondoing. I'm getting, I'm getting rid of plants that I don't need anymore, um, that I don't want. They don't bring me joy. They don't serve me. They don't need to be in my home, so I'm gonna get rid of them from my home. I feel like I need to justify all of these. I, don't, I know I don't have to justify any of these, but my brain's like, no, you need to really, like, have a reason for why you don't want any of these. It's just I don't want it anymore. Um, <laughs> this next one, it's a bit all over the place, and it's actually growing a bit better than it has previously. But this is like two separate reverted Florida ghost plants and I know you can get more variegation out of them if you put them in a better spot and give them more light and blah 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 but I have a cutting of a better variegated, not variegated, um, Florida ghost. So like a normal Florida ghost. So I don't need to be holding on to this one as well. I mean it like I said, there's two in here. One I got from an import and one that I think I got as a cutting from a friend um, for free or for a swap or something. And I don't think they would mind if I didn't have it anymore. I don't think they're going to be upset about it. I think they'd just be glad that I have one that I do really like. So, eh, I, I don't need it. And like it's not doing the Florida Ghost thing where it's like light and then it gets darker. They're just... It's being like normal Florida green, Florida, uh, not a Florida beauty because that's the variegated one. Is it just a Florida green if it's not got the ghost thing in the variegation? Or is it a pedotum? Let me know down below because I don't know. Also, this one has been suffering on and off with like thrips for a while. I don't think it has them anymore. Or was it spider mites? It has something. And I just, I've dealt with it, so it's like, it's fine, it's healthy enough, but I just, I, I, 
I don't want it. I think this is definitely one that I'll bring to the swap. Maybe cut up and bring to the swap. Or just bring it like this. I'll save this pot because I really like this pot. Put it in a putt. Putt. A cup <laughs> of pond and bring it to the swap because I'm sure somebody will want this. Somebody might be able to re-get it to ghost, which would be really cool. I would like, I would love that. I would love, love, love to see these plants be thriving in somebody else's home. That would make me so incredibly happy because they're not thriving here. So I'd, I'd rather them thrive somewhere else. So yeah, that is some plants that I am not feeling I want to get rid of and I think there's like what seven or eight here which would account for the seven plants that I bought myself from Plants for All Seasons so it's like it kind of works out in the end I'm not counting the Aeroid Asia ones yet we're working on it. We're, we're, we're gonna take it slowly with this but I am keeping track of all of this at the end of the year to see if I actually sort of make my goal of one in one out. But yeah, I feel like this is a good place to start. It's March, we're gonna start. We're gonna, we gotta start somewhere because I, I would just love these plants to go to like a good home because that would make me like feel so much better about it. <laughs> I feel kind of guilty now for having these plants and like not caring about them for so long. Yeah, anyways, that's it. Those are the plants that I am getting rid of at the moment. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on other houseplant things you'd like me to talk about in the future. Any plants that you're just like not feeling at the minute, let me know down below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!